everybody and welcome back to another episode of steampunk survival that's right i came up with a dumb name for my single player survival series aren't i so lame so i'm gonna be honest i don't have a lot of time to record this video i gotta do this quickly and so we're just gonna be we're gonna be speed running this recording so that i can edit it before wednesday okay i'm just gonna start with the necessary information all right last episode we built a windmill and now we need to build a house right here but to build the house i need resources and to get resources i need to make uh, uh this thingy because there's this block in the game called the drill where if you place it on a spinny thing then it will go and it will automatically mine blocks. And so I've looked on YouTube and I found this device that will automatically mine diamonds for me. And then it'll just be really easy to gather a lot of resources. And then that way in the next video, we can build a nice fancy house. So it's taken me about three stacks of iron to craft these resources. And now we just need to build the last piece, which is something called a deployer. So wait, you know, what? let me do an example here. So we, so we have this thing called a cart assembler, and so if we put something on top of that and then push a minecart underneath it while it's powered, it'll actually pick up the block on top of it. Come on, go back on the thing. Yes. And then if it's not powered, it'll place it back down. So the plan is, I've set up this contraption that'll place down rails in front of it, and then break them, pick them back up, and just infinitely loop rails to just make a drill that automatically, like, rolls forward through the caves. But in order to craft it, I need to make a deployer, which will place down the rails for me. And I already have electron tubes and andrasite casing. Those are pretty easy to craft, but what I need is a brass hand, and this thing is so annoying to craft because we need brass sheets and to get brass sheets we need to get brass and to get brass we need to mix zinc and copper now i already have a lot of zinc and copper the exact amount but the problem is in order to make this i need a blaze burner and the way a blaze burner works is i have to take this little thing here and i have to go out and i have to actually capture a live blaze for this to work so that's what we're doing in this episode we're gonna go we're gonna go fight a blaze i've decided that's the goal that's what we're doing in this episode so i'm gonna take some cobblestone and we're gonna go to the nether so that is the goal of this episode last episode we already went to another fortress so we know where one is and so now all we need to do is take this small cage and go kidnap a child from their home and then we can get all the resources we need. Wow, that was... I, I made that way darker than it needed to be. Oh, hey, free free pig flesh. That's great. All right, speed run recording. We're going to go kidnap a blaze. Let's go. Uh, is it this way? Oh, it's this way. Yeah. Okay, I got lots of bread. My saturation is meaningless. Oh, uh, there's the bastion that I still haven't looted because I'm too scared. Let's do this. Oh, the K, that's a ghast. No, 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 no. It can't even hit me. It has terrible aim. Oh, my frames are dropping so hard. Please, game. I need frames. No, 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 no. I don't want to get stabbed. I'm just here to kidnap a, a civilian or two. You don't need to make this difficult for me, game. Oh, it's the particles. There's so many particles. All right, so I believe we just right-click. Okay, we have a blaze. We did it. Oh, no, 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 no. Bye. Run. Run! We have successfully kidnapped the blaze. Now we just need to run for our lives before the police catch us. We're also going to stab that guy on a way out simply because we can. Wow, that, that was way less eventful than I was expecting it to be. I'm going to be honest. I was expecting us to have to go on this whole journey to go and capture a blaze and the blaze burner somehow, but it was, it was just simple. Walk up to it and right click. What are you doing here? Oh, I hear a lot of angry pigs. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a lot of angry pigs. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not dealing with that today. Bye. All right, well, now that we've engaged in a particularly daring escape, we can go back to enslaving blazes. All right, speed run recording. Come on. Come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. Fa fast. Go, go, go. All right, so we have a blaze burner. It's nighttime. Great. All right, so now we have a blaze burner. So to use this, how do we use this? So we place a basin on top of it, and then we feed it coal, and it uh, turns on. So we're going to quickly tear down this real quick. Uh, I, I could build a whole room for this, but once again, man, I don't have a lot of time to record this episode. We're going to have to be quick. Quick about it. All right, this is going to look horrendously ugly, but we're going to tear it down and give it like its own room later, so I don't really care. All right, is that fast enough? Okay, that's pretty fast, right? Yes! Oh, it's working! It looks horrendous right now, but it's working. I need brass so that I can build a drill. Please, game. Yes. 
Oh, it gave us 16. I only needed eight, which means now we can craft the deployers. The brass hand, which means I need the sh them to be sheets. Yes. Okay. While we're waiting for those to press, because let's be honest, it's going to take 10 years. Let's get start uh, building this actual contraption here, shall we? So first we need to build the actual contraption and then we can pick it up with the wrench and move it somewhere else. So one, two, three, four, five. The front is going to be a five by five square. I need a stair. I need a stair for this. Oh, I have a stair. Good. All right, so this is the general shape of the contraption that we're going to be building. It's very weird, I'm aware. I, I know perfectly well how dumb this looks. Although, I believe I, gla I grabbed some glowstone. Yes, glowstone. Okay, so we need to put this in the corners. And the point of the glowstone is to make sure we can actually see things when we're using the, gr the drill. And now we can make two deployers. All right, this is good. This is what we need. So we need a deployer facing down like that. And no. I need it to be facing down and seat so we have some chairs and then here we're gonna make place what's called a mechanical plow and this is gonna pick up all of the rails that we place down I severely underestimated the number of chests we were going to need okay all right there we go six chests and will that be enough It'll probably be enough. And now we need to place on the drills. Drill, 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 drill drill oh no it's gonna sweep away that torch isn't it no the torch is safe okay sweet all right so we are just about done this contraption now we just need to glue it all together and get it on a minecart rail oh i had the cobblestone thing in the in the other thing mixed up okay so give this one cobblestone and this one rails so i'm gonna craft i'm gonna actually gonna craft some more rails i don't have enough of those and the point of the cobblestone is that way if we go over a lava lake then it'll it'll create a path and so it can just go over anything even lava okay let's see okay i'm i'm very excited okay the, i've been working on this for so long well, okay, not very long. It's actually been about 15 minutes, but once again, speed run recording, guys. We gotta do this quickly. We don't have a lot of time. Oswald, it's working. I told you I'd get it working eventually. Haha! <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna bring you with me. Wait a second, that's, that's actually an achievement. Place, create a minecart contraption that place tracks in front of itself. So I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, so now we go down to diamond level. And this machine should, in theory, just mine diamonds for us. And then we can just pick up from the chests whenever we get bored. We are gonna make, we are gonna become very rich from this drill, okay? We're gonna strip the land of all its resources. All right, all right, so I've hauled out this area deep underground at, I believe this is Y-53. Now, 53 isn't the deepest we could go, but it is deep enough that we aren't gonna encounter too many lava problems. So we can still float over the lava, but I don't know what happens if we run into it, so... Hopefully it should be fine. And then we do this. Oh, it's here. Okay, this is working. All right, so in theory, this device should take the rails and cobblestone from in here and then use them to push forward and just infinitely mine for us. Mr. Oswald, look, look, this is the machine that is going to make us rich beyond belief. So in theory, all we have to do is flip this lever and then power this with coal. Is it working? Oh my god, it's working. Oh, it's actually working. What? Can I open the chests? I already have diamonds! Wait, and we can literally just sit here on this thing here and just place torches. Okay, that's awesome. So now all we have to do is follow behind it and then pick up all the ores that it gets out of the walls. It's already made us so much deep slate. What? I mean, deep slate isn't really what we need, but you know, it, it's nice to not have to gather by hand. Yeah, in theory, this, the number of rails sitting right here should never drop below 19, like ever. Zinc, that's nice. We can make brass out of that. Look at how much area we've already mined out. Look at this. Look at the length of that time. It's been five seconds. What? Maybe I should push the device a little bit deeper so that we get more diamonds. Although, maybe I'm going to go into creative testing world actually later and figure out what happens if it runs into lava. Why did I bring the bow with no arrows? It's so dumb. All right. So, I guess that's what happens when it goes into a cave. It does not stop the mobs. Oh, you don't get to live. Sorry. Spiders don't get to live in this world, I decided. Oh, I see. So we have to keep powering it with coal for it to keep going. Okay, that's fair. So the coal makes it go for a little while, but it doesn't just go forever, which is nice because it can't outrun us indefinitely. All right, we are starting to run low on coal, though. So we're going to have to stock up on coal if we want to use torches with this thing. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that. This is vanilla mine. No, this is not vanilla Minecraft. This is not vanilla Minecraft. Look at this. Look, that bat can't even get out of it. That's how crazy it is that we made this so quickly. And there's just iron poking through the walls. This is great. I'm gonna run out of torches before I run out of coal, actually. All right, let's see the iron. We got 36 diamonds from that. That's crazy. That's just insane. We got about a stack and a half of iron and then half a stack of diamonds. Oh, that's incredible. We can make full diamond armor now. Oh, yes. We're blue. Oh, I love the color blue. It's so shiny. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Very good. All right, we got a lot of resources today, and that means that we're going to have plenty of resources to build all the fancy things in the next episode, because this episode is actually over. We're out of time. Sorry, that's all you get. Oh, this was such an incredibly boring video where I made zero jokes. Oh, yes, I'm going to get such a high audience retention rate, I can already tell. Well, everybody, that was today's video. That's all I have for you. I'm sorry, man. I don't have a lot of time to record. I got to go, man. I got to go. I have stuff to do, places to be, things to see, and just just no time to edit this. So I'm going to end it quickly. Bye. Here's some, here's some end screen videos. Too late. <laughs>